everyone, Jenny and Mac here from Cruising Maya, and we're back with another episode detailing life aboard our 37-foot sailboat Maya. This video is part of an ongoing series covering our three-month trip to Southeast Alaska from our home port of Anacortes, Washington. In the last video, we sailed down Baranoff Island's rugged west coast, where we stayed at some amazing anchorages, and we had some more close encounters with wildlife. This episode covers our last week in Alaska, and during this time of the trip, we fished really hard, and we were also very conscious to soak in all the amazing experiences Alaska had left to offer, even the not so comfortable ones. But Mac has a swarm of bugs around his head. Do they come across in the camera? I don't know, but, oh uh, yeah, they do. Okay, jumping back into the story, after spending the night in Puffin Bay, we sailed down to Egg Harbor on Coronation Island, where we spend the next few days enjoying it and its neighbor, Warren Island. Okay, we landed on the beach here in Coronation Island, and it's white sandy beaches and some sea caves, so we're gonna go check out and see what's in those caves. This white sand. Don't see this all the time in Alaska. ready to fall asleep and we've got the cockpit hatch cracked just a hair and we can just hear the whale right outside of the boat just circling the boat and just it's pretty cool it's pretty cool nice <laughs> nice way to fall asleep falling asleep to real life whale sounds take you up the hatch here there he is just hearing that all night, it's pretty cool. Well, we seem to have found the spot for black rockfish so far. We've been trailing our trusty big nasty lure and we're just pulling them up. One. All right, that makes five. Five, five big black rockfish. Yeah. Fish tacos coming up. <laughs> nice haul here. We have five black rockfish. And then right at the end as we were trolling into our anchorage, we caught these two wing cod. Usually we see they're like kind of blue-gray color, but this one's these are like red. Three more rockfish. Going in. Yes. We are getting stocked up here. Okay, it's time for a family sup mission to shore. We're here at Warren Cove and there is an awesome beach behind me and a rare sunny Alaskan day. So we're gonna take advantage and have a little party on the beach. Okay, all right. Very good. Okay, now let's see if it holds three. Oh my gosh. Backpack on too. <laughs> okay, I just gotta get, right, low. get low. Oh, All right, we're right. Oh. 
Woo! Thank We're God the low. wind died down. It was blowing like a banshee there for a while. <laughs> Okay, there happens to be a ton of bugs on the beach here in the evening. Uh, this is really our first bout of bugs in Alaska, which is pretty amazing, but uh, we really haven't come to shore much either. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but Mac has a swarm of bugs around his head. Like, <laughs> can you, let's see that, let me see that swarm of bugs. Look at it. Can, they, can do they come across that? in the camera? I don't know, but, oh uh, yeah, they do. Oh, oh God. So, Yep, time to close up shop. Mm. Oh my God, there's like, mm. I feel like a hundred flying around my head. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Go. We gotta go. We're almost back from like the most treacherous shore mission we've ever done. I fell in the surf. Jenny fell in the surf. We've got about a thousand bugs trailing us. Um, there's a whale in our path and we're like, we're so close, but we've seen, it's, we're on a knife's edge right now. We're going to report back in a minute. We got to focus. Although no footage exists, we did make it back to the boat safely. So did all the bugs, but that's okay. We left them and the cove behind after one night at anchor. From Warren Island, we made our way over to the town of Craig, where we stopped only long enough to pick up fuel and water. This was to be our last few days before we had to leave Alaska, so we were determined to squeeze in as much fishing as possible. Okay, good morning. We are headed out to do some fishing. We just left uh, Craig, which is uh, well known for having some really good fishing spots. And we got some tips on some good ones, and we are going to head out there and see what we find. While we have caught some fish on this trip, we really, Jenny or I, haven't reeled in a salmon. I mean, the boat has caught a couple salmon, but we haven't caught a salmon ourselves. So we're really looking to pull in that, that Alaskan wild salmon sometime in the next few days before we, before we head off south. So today we're going to fish with a diving planer, which is this contraption right here. And so this is being trailed, it dives down like 40 feet. And then this end goes to a flasher. I personally like the red flasher. And then on the far end is the spoon coloration the green and silver and it's got a little extra metal piece for a little extra attractant so we're gonna fish two uh, lines out there and the other end is gonna be the same setup but we're gonna trail the real stuff so this is a nice big juicy herring and salmon are gonna love that all right we have arrived at the fishing grounds so let's put the lures in and See what happens. Okay, Jenny's got one on. Okay, Jenny's got another one on. <laughs> what? He's like on it until he gets to the boat. Okay, so we just found a bait ball. You can see it off in the distance. We saw a bunch of birds swooping in and you could actually see the fish on the surface. It's crazy. Catch of the day, two uh, you know decent sized salmon kings. So we're gonna go out tomorrow too and see what we can catch. But yeah, it's a good start. Okay, so we're on day two of fishing outside Craig. Uh, the conditions are much better out here today. Yesterday was just, oof, it was 
intense. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll be able to stay out here a little longer than we did yesterday. And again, as usual, we're the only sailboat amongst all the fishing boats. It happens every time. So, it's just kind of funny how that works out. Jenny with the nice big wing cut. Yeah, it's a beaut. After a great couple days fishing, we pulled back into Craig where we begin to prepare for the last and most daunting portion of our Alaskan trip. To get home, we are making an offshore sail direct from Craig to Nia Bay, Washington, a 650-mile, six-day passage. Join us next episode as we launch on our most ambitious sail to date. Things do not go exactly as planned, so stay tuned to see what happens next. Night four, off the west coast of Vancouver Island, there is light, constant lightning. We just made the decision we're, we're going straight into shore. And lastly, a reminder, we have an online store at cruisingmaya.com. We have special edition Southeast Alaska t-shirts available along with hoodies, hats, mugs, and a whole lot more. And we're constantly adding new items all the time. So cruise over to cruisingmaya.com and check it out. If you want to help support the making of these videos, shopping in our store is the best way to do that. A sincere thank you to everyone who's made purchases so far. Your support means the world to us and helps keeps us going on this crazy adventure. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you here next time. Cheers. Barbara! Barbara! <laughs>